Hello, Corey from CSG Design Creations, and today we're going to make a blooming flower in a faux geode. For this, we're going to be using new classic art resin and mica powders. So let's dive in and get mixing. Okay, so we're going to mix up our resin. As mentioned previously, and I'm going to sound like a broken record, I always start with the thinner liquid first. That's the hardener. And we're just going to mix up between 80 and 100 milliliters. Or if I can't pour good, 120. I will be working on a solution for pouring from these big jugs. I think I'm just going to be putting them into smaller containers. That way it's a little more controllable. And perfect. Now let's give that a stir for two to three minutes until it's all well incorporated, making sure to scrape the sides. So we don't get a good mix, you won't uh, have a good reaction and you might end up with some soft resin. Okay, and there we are. Just wipe that off. Now, for this technique, we want to pour in resin into the mold. Just clear at start. Not too much. We want enough so that it coats the bottom. Okay. And then we're gonna put, we're gonna separate it out. If you can separate your resin, it's better because the deeper it is, the faster the reaction will occur. A little bit more in this one. Scrape the edges. Now I had someone ask me where I got the squishy measuring cup. That is also from New Classic. They got a whole line of silicone tools, including mixing sticks, measuring cups, brushes. Okay, we'll just Give it a quick little blow with the uh, heat gun, just to get rid of some bubbles. Magic. Okay, now we're going to let that sit just for a little bit, just so it thickens up a bit. We don't want it to cure, but we want it to be thick to get the effect we're looking for. So I will be back in Movie Magic Seconds. Okay, and we are back. So it's just a cool little thing if we take our thermometer. Make sure that we can 
So if you see that's the silicone or the resin in the silicone mold is 33 degrees. Now if we just check out that, 36 degrees. Because as the resin essentially does this chemical reaction, it heats up. Uh, the whole exothermic. Uh, so we're just waiting for it to get uh, a little thicker. And as you can see, we've got sort of that stringiness. So I think we should be good to just start mixing some colors here. So let's see what we got. Okay. More white. So maybe we'll even those out first. some of our white powder in there give that a good mix Should scrape those edges it's a running theme here Good. I'm getting a clean stick here. A little bit of gold. Yeah, if you caught that, I actually forgot that I had three colors here. But that's all right. Okay, and another clean stick, and go with the purple. start off with our white actually we're going to do this a little bit different Oops, sorry hit the camera there bag here. It's be much like decorating a cake. And because I'm too frugal, I use Ziploc bags for piping bags. Okay, so let's just take that out. I'm just going to pinch the bag. Give it a twist to make it tight. Here's 
pieces, and we're just going to cut the end off here. And that didn't quite work out how I thought, but we'll make a couple rings. Okay, let's pop that down there. This person probably could have stiffened up just a little bit more. That's all right. We'll make it work. there. And gold, we're not going to go with that piping bag because a well, little tiny solo cut works just fine. is very runny. Finishing off the purple here. Okay. So now we're going to make magic. Take a toothpick and we're just going to draw it down. 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 Okay, now you notice it does start to look like a flower here, but I like a little bit more pointy, so we're going to go from the inside between each of those where we drew it in, we're going to go out, and that'll give it a little bit of a peak. Now my toothpick. I've trimmed them so they're not sharp, so we're not scratching up the mold. And I'm literally just dragging it lightly across. Last one. Okay. Doing all that does introduce more bubbles, so we're going to take the heat gun and just give it a good blast.
You can push some of the colors around a little bit if you want. Okay. And now, let me see a little bubble there. And now we're going to let this sit for a bit. We'll come back in a couple minutes and uh, hit it with the heat gun. You don't need to see that. You've seen me heat gun enough. Um, and then once that's all cured, we'll come back. Okay, and we are back. The uh, coaster is cured. So let's do the unmolding. Just going to... Roll around the edge to break the seal. And make sure you get that center one. Okay, time for the big reveal. Okay, so we do have a couple options here. We could leave it like this which there's absolutely nothing wrong. It's not actually that tra transparent. Or we could go with a black background. Okay, so we can go with black background. We're just gonna use my hat because I don't have any black paper. Should we see that? Doesn't make much of a difference. Or we could go with a white. But as we didn't get any big transparencies, you can see a little bit just there. I don't think we're gonna do a background on this one. Maybe that's a project for another video. I think this is a pretty good success. So with that, we'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe.